Hi Sagittarius, thank you very much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising Sagittarius. We'll take a look at the cards to get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I'll also look at a few oracle cards to give you additional information as well. So let's just go ahead and get started with your reading. Okay, take a look here. And in your current position, we have the Eight of Wands. And Wands, and this is, at your present moment, you have a lot of things going on. You seem to be very active. And you are uh, either beginning or projects are coming to a close. And so, you know, there's movement within this Eight of wands and often you might have to make a decision quickly that something is coming up and that you have to decide and move swiftly but this indicates that uh, you have a lot of wands in the air you're, you're active you have a lot of things going on within your life at this time and so um, this can suggest news coming in it could suggest new projects and enthusiasms and passions that you want to pursue on the other hand, it also could mean that some projects are coming to a close and coming to an end because is gravity pulling these swords to earth? So uh, either way, you have to think about how, how this card resonates with you. What's crossing you is temperance. And so temperance is about balance. We see the flowing water here and one toe dipped in the water, one foot on earth. And really this is about balancing, having moderation in all aspects of your life, um, having a chance to restore and to recover. So what's crossing you is that you're going to have to be able to take, keep, keep your balance and to take care of yourself by looking at all aspects of your life, your health, your spirituality, your emotional self, you know, what you're eating, how many hours you're sleeping, and it, you have to treat yourself well. And this can be a card of, of um, healing as well. So this is kind of like the calm after the storm in many ways. And so you are uh, having a chance to, to uh, you know, find balance. You have to, that's, you're going to be, the thing that's going to maybe be a challenge for you is, is keeping balance within your life. In your foundation, you have the moon. And the moon is... Uh, the moon is about fears, it can be anxieties, it can be uncertainty about a path, but really with the moon, it's dealing with your psyche and your subconsciousness. And so what is bubbling deep down beneath in your life? Uh, you have to think about your dreams, your intuition, your instinct, your hunches, and you have to pay attention to them. You have to listen to them. Those messages are trying to tell you something. So in your foundation, you have to uh, think about, is there something that's holding you back and holding you from proceeding down this path? Are you just feeling uncertain? Um, are you feeling anxious about it? And you know, it's time to go within and to dig a little deeper within to get to the root of why you may be feeling like that. In your recent past, we have judgment. And judgment is typically, if you see, you see these people rising out of their coffins and the angel with the fanfare. And it's like, it's a day of reckoning. It's really calling into and having these internal discussions about, am I doing everything that I want to do within my life? Am I proceeding on the path that I should be proceeding? Uh, judgment can be about rebirth. And so that maybe that you are thinking about uh, 
change in somehow and how to affect change, but it's scary to you. Uh, to make any big moves, is it can be tricky. But judgment is about looking at your past actions and kind of... Uh, Kind of the cause of effect, cause and effect. Are, are you here because of past actions, or are you uh, thinking about, yep, yep, I'm ready to do something else. I'm ready to have my own rebirth. I'm ready to to have the fanfare announcing a new and better me. In your crowning energy, you have the Knight of Swords, and the Knight of Swords is someone who is intellectual analytical, someone who is decisive and gets right into the heart of the matter and is going to be able to evaluate and look at all sides of an issue. So this is a benefit to you to be able to take this air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and to um, go in there knowing the details. Whatever you choose to do, you need to read the fine print, and you need to be on top of, of everything that's kind of circling an issue because uh, you want to be informed. So what I'm getting from this is that you, you have to have the information. You may be charging in and moving quickly into a situation and raising your sword because maybe things are going to get challenging for you. But if you have the details, if you use your head, if you are rational and, and not emotional about, about whatever movement or moves that you're making, then you're going to be better prepared. What's in front of you and what's coming up is the sense that you are working too hard, too much going on, and doing more than your fair share. This is a card where there's a lot of strength to carry and to push these wands up the street. And ultimately you do do that. So you're successful. You're going to get to completion. But at what cost to you? This can be really tiring and can be uh, frustrating when people don't pick up their fair share of the, of the load. And what does that lead to? It leads to resentment. It can lead to um, stress and ill health. So... In your near future, you've got to begin to delegate. You have to find a way to release some of this burden that you feel. And again, it's the temperance card with this card is to find the balance of reconnecting and restoring your energy so that you're not depleted and so that this doesn't deplete you. Where you are right now, King of Pentacles, you are thinking about money, finances, resources, and you're doing a good job of watching your budget. And uh, if you have investments, you are kind of keeping your eye on them. And, you know, this is King of Pentacles is, uh, we've got Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and this could be someone within your circle that you are working with, an advisor. This could represent your approach, which would be common sense and a very grounded approach to your career, to the resources at home, and to money. In your environment, you have the Page of Wands. And this Page of Wands stands here, is kind of looking out, and you know this can represent um, the youthful inspiration to want to learn new things and to want to jump in and to do things. What is this telling me? This is telling me that you have a desire for some fun and for some adventure to come into your life and maybe it's been all work and no play and that's not so cool. So, you know, this card is saying, what are your passions? What are your enthusiasms? Go out, join a club, Find something to do that's going to make you happy and going to make you feel satisfied. This is again about the beginning steps of taking charge and moving, moving forward. Finding something of enthusiasm, really, that's what the wands are all about. It's this desire to have passion about what you do and to enjoy life to its fullest, to 
to um, uh, not be just watching life pass you by. And this is youthful energy. In your hopes and fears, we have the tower. And in the tower, we see the people falling off the tower and coming down. And, you know, uh, this is a card of sometimes foundations and things end. And they come to an abrupt halt. And they come to a shocking close. And so things just kind of just fall apart. Sometimes you know that they're falling apart. Your sixth sense tells you. If it could be a relationship that is crumbling. It could be a job that's maybe not going to be your long game. It's not going to be the uh, thing you want to be doing in five to ten years. But this suggests that a foundation of yours, something, part of your fabric of your life is going to end and change is coming. And this is change that is ultimately going to help you because the universe has a way of clearing out, clearing out the things that are not helping you. And so when you can look at it from the perspective is sometimes the tower comes in just to change things up, to make you move in a new direction and to get you into a better place. In your outcome, we have the high priestess. And the high priestess is, uh, yeah, high priestess, it's about again, intuition. It's about trusting your instinct, trusting your, your gut, trusting your hunches, going, diving deep below, to underneath the surface. With the high priestess, it's a sense of passive energy. It's like you're taking time to be still and to really think about things. So you're thinking about things and at your foundation, there are some fears or anxieties, and this is encouraging you to go deep too. So really what I'm getting is that you need to, to really take some time with yourself to figure out what it is that is making you tick and that is making you maybe feel unsettled. The high priestess has the book of Torah on her lap. She has knowledge. She has experience. This is feminine energy. Uh, sexuality as well. And so, you know, with this high priestess, I think it's a message to you to, to dive a little deeper within your really, your subconscious and to pay attention to all the signs in the universe. What are they trying to tell you? Instead of having blinders on, and work, 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 and push, 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 and being incredibly busy. There could be a message here for you to slow down, have some balance, do some thinking here about life purpose, what you want to accomplish, how's it been going in the past and what's going in the future, to be informed before you make any changes, and this theme of thinking of your enthusiasms of bringing this into line with you. You're going to have some change. Something's going to change. Uh, could be a big change, could be a little change, but something's going to change. You are feeling secure financially and uh, you have some uh, grounded practical thinking or at least you have someone in your corner who's doing that for you. But this is interesting. Let's see. There are no cups in this reading. There are no cups. So you're dealing from a very intellectual and subconscious level and from a practical standpoint and some enthusiasm. But the emotional piece is not, not seeing it in this reading. Very interesting. So I think it's just a lot, lot going on for you where you're really active and you are feeling burdened and stressed out. Maybe you're having to jump into things 
quickly and to put out fires and to deal with things, but you are informed to do so. But again, no cups in this reading. Very interesting. Okay, so let's get a sense of love since um, I don't really see cups here. What can we find out for love for? Action. You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. Action. Action within wands. A lot going on. Action with the Page of Wands. What is it that you want to do? What do you want to explore? What enthusiasms or passions do you want to pursue? And maybe you want to pursue a relationship. It doesn't really, I didn't see any cards for that here, but you know, that action could be coming within here. Is that something that you is going to change with respect to love? Interesting. And finally, I'd like to close the reading with just a general um, practice area or theme or something to contemplate for you. Voice of Truth, Joan of Arc. Stand strong, focus on your purpose, release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. Release the fears and the anxieties. Don't be afraid to find your truth through judgment and to judge your own actions and your own life and to do what's appropriate and what your heart tells you to do. And again, to speak your truth, diving deep with this high priestess and listening to your dreams, following your hunches, following your intuition is something that it's going to be important for you to do in order for you to figure out what are the things, where, where you're headed, you know, what the next step is. All in all, a very interesting reading for you. I hope that you found something helpful here. And if you did, um, please like, share, or comment on this video. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's a great way to stay connected and to show support. And I thank you for taking the time to watch this, and I hope that I will see you again. Take care. Bye-bye.